Alright, it's finally warm enough in the living room here to do some more videos. And what I've wanted to do for a few days is to copy that motor method, that levitated rotor, the lid motor showed. And uh, I was really quite impressed because, uh, well, like this one, bounces up and down like this. And mine have always been too wobbly. <laughs> That's what stopped me from doing a video the last few days. But uh, this one does spin fine. And I've done one of these reed switch um, little circuits. And this should, with any luck, there we go. Begin spinning it round and you can see the LED hopefully flashing. And off it goes at quite the rate. And I've got a 2.7 volt super cap on there. Just charged up with uh, a couple of AAs. But that works great, and I really do like this kind of semi-levitated rotor. Now what I'll do, I'll take it away from there. You can see now that it's spinning around very nicely indeed, and that's really the point of this, is to get as little friction as possible. So that's spinning around quite nicely. Um, I'll just say, while it is spinning around, I've what I've used is this kind of a ring magnet. They come from speakers. Um, you can see there, there's one on that one. And normally this part comes away, the whole thing comes away, and you can take out the, the magnet that's in the middle. Um, this type is a microwave type, of course, will give you a lot, a lot bigger strength. But uh, that's still spinning around there. I'll stop it, pull the top off, and you can see what I've done. So we've got one of those ring types at the bottom, and another one underneath the lid. Uh, then I've got a pin going through, a needle going through the very middle of it, and everything just sits together like that. So... Uh, I doubt I'll get the middle of it now, but, oh, there we go. So now, hopefully, we can start it up again. And there we are. So I'm hoping to do a lot more of this myself, really, and uh, experiment a bit. Oh, look at that. <laughs> you gave me some grief. But, yeah, the other thing is, it's quite a tough way of doing things as well. But well, that's my replication anyway of the method that Lid Motor showed. Okay, thanks for watching.